I didn't get addicted to opioids, none of the other shit that y'all was trying to give me. So now I'm able to conduct a regular life and raise kids and still have babies after Mm -hmm. I get out the league because I didn't fuck my shit up and Mm -hmm. throw my shit off and I'm able to still be a productive citizen without my sport that made me so much money Mm -hmm. and not being addicted to nothing that's connected to the sport. Mm -hmm. Who's your favorite player to watch outside of Lakers? Like, we know, you know, you're a big Laker fan. Who's who's someone you watch outside of the Lakers? Damn. Um, I like that new nigga from Memphis. Morant. He cold. He cold. He, he little, but he cold. Got a lot of game. I like his heart. Like, you can't buy heart. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't buy that. You got to be born mm-hmm. with it. Like, and when you got that in you... That go a long way. Mm-hmm. Like when they put some goons around him or ship him out of there and get him somewhere else. It's going to be a problem. He nasty. He like how Kemba Walker look in uh, Boston. You know, I like you put him on a team with some niggas that can get out. Mm-hmm. Now he look good now. Yeah. And I sat out there struggling every night to try to beat five niggas by himself. He put up to the big three championship. Yeah. Who that? You. Always. Like, can you, I want you to please tell them. You're from when you walked out the arena to the back to the locker rooms, please tell them because you stopped somewhere else before you got to me. <laughs> Let them know how you know your well, steps on the way to my locker room. Well, when I walked out, the first locker room I seen was the the victorious team, and they was in there popping champagne and pouring champagne on each other. So I was like, I'm dressed too fly for this shit. <laughs> so as I continued to walk, <laughs> my toucan <laughs> Sam nose of mine. My nose always knows because your nose knows. Uh. Was like, hold on, we need to go down this way. It smells like we need to be in this area. So we walking and walking. And then somebody say, hey, my nigga Jack and him in there. Oh, that's all I need to hear. <laughs> I go in there with them. A couple little bitties in there. We get the little bitties out of there, take a picture with them, smile, bitch. Get gone now. <laughs> it's time to be grown. <laughs> Jazz out of here. Get them out of there. And then we commence to... Fire. And the Clippers locker room. Ooh, 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 ooh. Fire. So we had, we had the losing room. team, but we had the championship locker room. It was a, it was emotion too. It was a feeling. Remember the CEO came in there? Yeah, the, yeah, that was dope too. Now, you hey made, man, you made me feel how deep that Come moment on, was. Come on, nigga. Though. You know, in the locker room, we, we was on a losing team, and uh, you know, we all are talking, but CEO Q come in there with his wife. Right. And just tell me how much they appreciate everything I've done for the league and what I give to the league. And that, that meant a lot because we just lost. Right. You know what I'm saying? But for Cube to bring his wife right. in the shot, you know what I'm saying? That meant a lot. And, you know, he was there to see that moment. You helped the league win. Oh, there's yeah. no question. You that was the that. key. That, that the overall picture was you brought a league up because of the way you play, the way you handle your business, the way you committed to it. Mm-hmm. You make it easy for the next retired athlete to say, let me go try that shit. Mm-hmm. Cause I was in Arizona, thanks to Matt, with my nigga Easy Rider. And I was like, JR, cuz you need to get in the big three. He's like, You think Cube would have me? Hell yeah. I said, nigga. <laughs> Cube. This nigga JR Ryder with the and Cube said, Tell him to come to the combine. Yeah, that's it. Nigga, hey, you gonna get picked, nigga. Come on, man. You JR, nigga. Nigga, show up and show out. Nigga, I miss you, nigga. And him. the league is you. It's in him. The league is us. It's like it's it's the rebirth of you niggas, man. His game. Forget and you that. can have your gray shit, nigga Catino Mobley and motherfucking <laughs> Mahmoud niggas out there grayed up. Nigga, go. Yeah. Mahmoud 50. This us. Hoop it. <laughs> Hoop it. Hoop nigga, it. this is us, nigga. We can't hide that shit. This us. Yeah. MJ or Kobe. Kobe, man. <laughs> All time greatest. All time hey, greatest. I'm a Laker, man. All time greatest. Magic. Okay. Give me your top. Give me your top five then. Magic, Kareem, Kobe, Jordan, Shaq. That's your all time top five. So LeBron's on number six. Maybe further back. You Will. Oh, okay. So Will gotta back. come. On. <laughs> Will, nigga, the six man got to have these Still, on, so he coming yeah. in here like just dogging <laughs> niggas that. out. Yeah, who yeah. can deal with that off the bench? Yeah, yeah. And then LeBron, you go, Will, LeBron, that's nice backup right there, mm-hmm. six seventh man, in case Magic need a breather. He gonna do it all. 
That's what I'm saying. Yeah, With that is. run, man, please. <laughs> On NBA 2K, you can have it like that. <laughs> <laughs> With your longevity and in, in, in being an entertainer, what's been the secret of maintaining a relationship with uh, for your your family dynamic, what's been the secret? Nothing's perfect. Everything is up and down. But tell me what would have been your tricks to to maintain. Just trying to keep them involved. Um, with my family, I try to like this shit is like a juggling act. And if you got a family, you understand what I mean. From the mother to the kids to the grandparents to the siblings and all of the shit that come along with it. I just try to keep them all attached. Like in some form or fashion. That's why I built the compound. Because that was my way of saying, how can I have something that's all of ours? That's an epicenter that we can always come to. If we need to get away, if we need to talk, we need to cry, laugh, make music, videos, party, whatever, this is it. And I had to build that because for a moment, I only had that. You know what I'm saying? And they had to get in where they fit in based off of, you know, my plays. But to be a better family man, a better businessman, you build shit for the family and for the business. So that's why I built the compound, and that's why the family has been executing on the level that we have for so many years, considering that I have an epicenter where we can do that, where we can chop it up and get it right when it's wrong. Me and you personally spoke, because I was real... I was a football player first and just loved your son's <laughs> athletic ability. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> you, said you, you said you what? <laughs> you question my football? Oh, no, no, I, I, I didn't hear you. I, just, the, I had to cough. I records. had to cough. Check all the records. I had to cough. Anyway, fuck out of here. <laughs> check them. Replacements. Hell <laughs> duh. I was unstoppable on the football field. Wow, we got guess. plenty of people that can speak to that. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, as I was saying, we was talking about your son playing, going to UCLA, playing football, and then him stepping away from it because it wasn't really what he wanted. Talk to me a little bit about that. Ooh, that was a heavy one in the beginning because, um, you know, as a father, you know, you you live through your kids. Ain't no other way around it. Especially if you didn't make it in sports and your kids making it in sports, you basically, you are them. You living for them, with them, and you are them. So when he makes it, we make it. And... For him to get to that level of going to a Division One program where Jim Moore and, you know, Coach Yarbs all came and recruited him and, you know, got him there. And it's like he's projected to do so many great things and then don't even show up to the first practice. And just nowhere to be found. You was excited about it. And... I was so excited, even though he chose that school, but I was excited for him because he was going to do his thing. And I knew that when he chose that school, he was going to have longevity after football. Mm -hmm. So he don't show up, shit going bad. We like six, seven days into the first week of camp. Finally sit down and catch up to him. And it's like a burden is off his shoulders when he say what he say to me. Like, in so many words... I've been playing for you my whole life. Mm -hmm. Mm. Like, and he had. I coached him since he was six years old. I made that nigga play. Mm -hmm. Get your ass out here. And he became good. But I was, I always say in daddy ball, you either gonna make your son the greatest athlete in the world or either gonna hate the fuck out of you. Mm -hmm. Ain't no in-betweens. And I made him the greatest athlete in the world that I could. And I began, I began to see he was going to hate me. So him pulling back made us do this. Because football was going to do this. Mm. This brought us here mm -hmm. to where now I got to support you. Not what you're doing, but support you. No matter what you're doing. And then I got, got to a point to where I seen that he needed me as a kid. Mm -hmm. So what, he's 6'2", 180 pounds, look like a grown-ass nigga on Sunday? He a kid. Them your babies, Matt, when they grow up, like they getting taller, they still them little bitty babies that cry and do all that soft shit, they babies. Mm -hmm. And it's like no matter how big they get, you got to always remember that. So I had to keep that in mind and not 
be mean, but be understanding and say, I got you. Now live your life. Mm -hmm. What you want to do? I got you. Now I got to pay <laughs> for your ass to go to UCLA when you had a full scholarship. <laughs> <laughs> but I got you. Mm -hmm. How much is this shit? God damn. You sure you don't want to go to a community college? Right. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, something. That's interesting hearing, though, because I coach my boys, but one thing I learned early to, it was to never pressure them to do, you know, I made it. I played my, 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 I spent my 15 years. You enjoyed the ride. You saw what it was about, but it's always on your time. So if you want to work out, we can work out. If you don't want to work out, if you want to be good, you want to be better, you want to continue to improve, it's on you. And it finally just turned 11, and they finally, Dad, let's go shoot. <laughs> Dad, let's go dribble. Let's, let's, let's go do this. Let's go play. And it, it made me feel good because, like I said, I was never going to push them. So, so, well, Matt, so hear I the coached Cordell at six years old and seven years old. At 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, I stopped coaching him. He was on my team, but I never talked to him. He played wide receiver, and he played defensive end. Only time I would talk to him is if I would give him the signal to run the nine route or to run the slant route. I wouldn't talk to him at all because I seen that he was better getting coached by somebody else. Mm -hmm. We talked about that. Yeah. And he was better just being my son. Mm -hmm. On the ride home, we was on some like. They want you to be their homeboy. Yeah, nigga, what you want? You want Baja Fresh, nigga, or what? Or mm -hmm. uh, Burger King? <laughs> what you want, nigga? <laughs> nigga don't want to hear. Hey, nigga, you know you were supposed right. to catch that ball, nigga. Yeah. That X route you ran was wrong, nigga. I told you the Y four five six two three X L left two three five six. That <laughs> the fuck is all these numbers? Shut the fuck up. Practice is over with, I nigga. What's your top three movies all time? Mm -hmm. The Mac. Motherfucker, can you buy that? Yes, sir. Don't make me go in the cabin. <laughs> yes, sir. Get, get into it, Jesse. Nah, I'm cool. I'm cool. I ain't gonna do it right now. Uh, let's see right what now. two is. Godfather. Mm. And it's got to be an Eddie Murphy movie because it's probably gonna be Trading Places or Forty Eight Hours. Classic. Top three movies you played in. Uh, the roles you liked. Training day.